Hi, this is Gateway Purple Gal, and I'd like to present a video today on a subject I haven't heard a whole lot about, and that's educating our children in the ship situation. Um, I know a lot of you are overwhelmed and you're not quite sure where to start or what to do, and after 25 years of educating our 15 children, I'd like to show you a few staples that I I keep going back to. The, these are things that that have stood the test of time. I mean, as you can see, we have a pretty in-depth classroom. Um, you don't have to do all this. We, like I said, there are things that we just keep going back to that we use day after day. And I would like to start with um, some of the free things that you probably either already have in your home or you can purchase very cheaply and inexpensively at Dollar Tree Store, Salvation Army, uh, some Walmart sales. Um, the first was, the first is that probably everybody has is an egg carton. Now we of course buy the big eggs because we're a big family. But these can come in handy from everything from counting to sorting to planting plants. Um, they're, they just come in very handy. Um, snack zipper bags right here. Not only can you organize in the zipper bag, save the box because there are so many um, projects that can be done with those smaller type boxes with especially younger ones. Um, yarn. We probably all have yarn in our in our house uh, buttons old buttons take them off of old shirts take them off of old pants they can be strung on the string they can be counted they can be weighed there's all kinds of things you probably already have crayons and you recognize number 10 cans we don't throw away nothing in our house you probably if you have kids you probably already have play-doh markers pencils colored pencils um things you can find outside that are free um, this skull here, my children have spent hours examining that skull. Um, Dollar Tree Store, you got scissors, um, pencil sharpeners, um, glue sticks actually came from Walmart. They were on sale because somebody opened up a whole bunch of them. They were 10 cents a piece and I picked up a whole lot of them. You'll want containers to store them in. Um, manuscript tablets for if you have younger ones if not Walmart has sales going on 15 cents each for the one subject notebooks I think that was 10 cents each for uh, pocket folders uh, Dollar Tree construction paper construction papers kind of important um, if you and um, here's puzzles puzzles are always good for young children um, if you have nothing else books 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 and more books um and if you're limited on the space um pick your books according to your child's age maybe go a year above what you think your child's reading if you're going to store books for a shift situation for learning um we store the classics i start all my intermediate readers out on the classics can't go wrong with the classics they can go back and they can be reread um nancy drew kidnapped you name it um you can always go back um and read those later so if you're going to be stuck on anything you know you've got those and take the time to learn your used bookstore um, owners you know get to know them I've got more deals because I have know my uh, used bookstore owners and the people at Salvation Army um, here's more Dollar Tree finds uh, root word here can you see there you go um, Latin and Greek root words that's important uh, grammar and junction games these were all a dollar um, analogy attack the children actually really like that geographical features and definition templates um, they they again they really really enjoy those um, there's more free things that you can get from your local conservation um, even even call up other states and ask them this one's from the Missouri Department of Conservation and it's on songbirds it is absolutely a beautiful poster um, and the girls are really enjoying that um, so that's something else you can do I will tell you that if um, you're not sure what your child should be studying go to your local library go to your local book used bookstore um, what your kindergartner should know what your first grader should know I believe that these go all the way up to fourth grade fourth or fifth grade it's called the core knowledge series um, really worth it I'll let you know usually by the time your kids get a little bit older and, and they've been in school for a while you know exactly what they're what they should be doing um, there are 
here here's another Dollar Tree store find it is the uh, premium education on reading this came from Dollar Tree store even though um, it has a really neat as you uh, cover as you can see the girls like it I have two fifth graders I have two ten year olds so and as you can see this has more in it than what a child is going to do in the summer it's called the summer vacation series um, I usually pay about $24 for them because uh, the girls really like them this one I got for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and they had them all the way up until sixth grade um, jumpstart got this one at my local used bookstore for 75 cents it is a state standard um, approved it's worth a full year and it's called jumpstart it that it's a wonderful curriculum to use and then also um, brain quest again state standard it's a full it's a full year of everything that they're going to need um, get some good books help is on the way series this side is punctuation this side is science skills I don't know if you can see that and then again if you flip it help is on the way for punctuation um, great buy go to your local used bookstore see if you can get that I'm trying to rush this a little bit I'm sorry and then the three things that I would really really make sure that I always kept in my classroom um, the, these things are probably going to cost you um, if you find them for free if somebody offers them to give them to you take them by all means the first one is going to be a powerhouse in your educational arsenal this is called the Prentice Hall reference guide to grammar and usage and as you can see it's self-explanatory this is good from a first grader all the way up to a, uh, uh, one of your kids in college it is going to break down every bit of grammar sentence spelling root words um, essays term papers dissertations it breaks them all down in very easy to understand language um, the second thing is that I would keep um, I got this this is 501 science experiments I got this from the bargain bin at borders um, this is really nice it, it has a page where you can write down the date that you want to do an experiment the experiment number and your notes on the experiment it has 501 science experiments from biology to weather and everything in between that was an awesome buy I've used this for several years with my children um, and the last thing I'm going to tell you if somebody offers it to you if you see it they're normally about 65 to 70 dollars and if you see it cheaper I'm telling you if you want to help your children in math to grab this system it's called the Cuisinaire rod system um, it's about 20 years old been through 15 children so it's a bit beat up and I'm kind of shocked that the cover is still intact at all okay this is what it looks like you have blocks in 10 units so this is your number one block and this would be your number 10 block so your number 10 block equals 10 number one blocks um, this is your slide ruler that they go in that you can add and subtract so 10 plus 1 of course would equal 11 now it's not just that simple this can take them all the way to higher functioning math um, it usually comes with or you can get offline for free let me get to this sorry about the um, worksheets and as you can see you're going to add 7 plus 6 is 13 add your 1 that's 43 and that's A across this one happens to be work like a crossword puzzle so you're going to go to A A across and you're going to add your 4 plus your 3 and add 43 you're going to continue to work that until they get a picture and if they get the picture they've done it right but anyway it's well worth it this this system will go all the way from preschool all the way up to advanced math um, I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that I put at ease your uh, any or answered any questions that you have about um, educating your children because you know they are the reason we're prepping and it's very important that we remember that they are our future and we've got to make sure that they get educated but anyway um, I wish you all a happy day and don't be overwhelmed um, go out there and find something to keep in your house to keep that education up because if the shift hits the fan 
We're not going to be able to count on the government. Thank you. Bye.